You've probably noticed Wikipedia citations in every research paper, every argument online, and honestly, in half your Google searches. But here's what you might not know. Elon Musk just announced he's building something to replace it entirely. And after spending weeks diving into what Grokpedia actually is, and looking at Musk's track record with impossible projects, I found something surprising. This isn't just another tech announcement that'll fade away. This could actually change how we access information forever. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what Grokpedia is, how it works under the hood with Grok AI, and most importantly, whether Musk can actually pull this off. We'll look at his history of making the impossible happen, from rockets that land themselves to brain chips that let people tweet with their minds. By the end, you'll understand not just what Grokpedia promises, but whether it's worth paying attention to. First up, let me tell you what Musk announced on September 30th, because the timing here is fascinating. The announcement on September 30th, 2025, Elon Musk made an announcement that sent ripples through the tech world. His AI company, XAI, is developing something called Grokopedia, and he's not being subtle about his ambitions. He's calling it a massive improvement over Wikipedia, positioning it as an AI-driven encyclopedia that could fundamentally change how we access knowledge. Now, before you roll your eyes at another Musk promise, hang on, because the details here are actually wild. Musk says Grokpedia is a necessary step toward XAI's mission of understanding the universe. Yeah, you heard that right. Understanding the universe. But what does that actually mean in practical terms? Here's where it gets interesting. Grokpedia is being designed as an open source knowledge base built on XAI's Grok chatbot. And Musk is emphasizing something specific. Maximal transparency and neutrality. He's framing this as free, uncensored access to information, and he's inviting anyone to join XAI and help build it. No paywalls, no usage caps, completely free for everyone. But wait, there's a bigger story here about why Musk thinks this is even necessary. And this is where things get controversial. The Wikipedia problem. Musk's vision for Grokpedia centers on what he sees as a fundamental problem with Wikipedia. He's joined by some pretty credible voices here, including Larry Sanger, who literally co-founded Wikipedia. Their argument? That Wikipedia's content has become hopelessly biased towards certain viewpoints. Now, whether you agree with that or not, it's shaping how Grokpedia is being built. The platform is being positioned as an AI-curated encyclopedia that systematically cross-checks facts and presents multiple perspectives. Think about that for a second. Instead of human editors with their own biases, you'd have AI algorithms designed to flag half-truths or ideological slants and rewrite or supplement entries as needed. The stated values are transparency, neutrality, and factual accuracy. Musk wants Grokpedia to be what he calls vastly better than Wikipedia a dynamic, trustworthy library built with cutting-edge AI. But here's what you're probably wondering. How does this actually work? What's the technology making this possible? And that brings us to the engine powering all of this. The tech behind the vision. At Grokpedia's core sits Grok, XAI's flagship large language model that launched back in November 2023. But this isn't your average chatbot. Grok is a conversational AI assistant trained on massive amounts of web data, including real-time posts from X, formerly Twitter. It has advanced capabilities in reasoning, coding, and visual understanding. Musk made a bold claim about the latest version, Grok 4. He says it's smarter than almost all graduate students in all disciplines. Now that's a massive statement, but what's interesting is that Grok already has unprecedented real-time web search integration. It's not working from old training data. It's pulling from the live internet. Here's how Musk plans to leverage this for Grokpedia, and this next part will surprise you. 
Grok models will proactively generate and update encyclopedia articles by scanning a broad mix of sources continuously. We're talking websites, academic papers, even Twitter threads. The AI will ingest new information constantly and synthesize it into structured articles. But wait, it gets better. The designers are emphasizing what they call a community plus AI collaboration model. Human editors can contribute and refine content just like Wikipedia, but here's the twist. Grok's AI moderates changes, catches vandalism and biases, and ensures factual consistency. Those truth-seeking algorithms are intended to cross-check contentious claims against multiple viewpoints to counter one-sided narratives. Musk even mentioned using something called synthetic data to reconstruct or fill gaps in biased or incomplete articles, adding missing context or flagging half-truths. Think about what that means. If an article is missing a perspective or has questionable claims, the AI can identify that and either flag it or generate supplemental content to balance it out. The result should be an open platform with rich features. A browsable library of AI-curated articles, each with citations, images, and dynamic updates that happen in real time as new information becomes available. From chatbot to encyclopedia. Now you might be thinking, wait, isn't Grok already a chatbot that answers questions? Why do we need Grokpedia? Great question. Unlike Grok itself, which only answers questions on demand and then the conversation disappears, Grokpedia will maintain a persistent, browsable encyclopedia that anyone can access anytime. According to XAI, it could integrate directly with Grok's interfaces on grok.com and the X app. But here's where Musk's broader vision starts to connect. They're planning to offer an API so developers and other AIS can query the knowledge base. Musk has even teased that Grok-enabled Teslas could query Grokpedia on the fly. In fact, he already announced that Grok is coming to Tesla vehicles very soon. Imagine asking your car a question and it pulling information from this constantly updated AI encyclopedia in real time. That's not science fiction. That's what Musk is actively building toward. The bigger picture. This brings us to something crucial you need to understand. Grokpedia isn't just about making a better encyclopedia. It aligns with Musk's broader goal of what he calls democratizing information and using AI to explore big questions. XAI's self-professed mission is to understand the universe. That's a phrase Musk keeps repeating, and while it sounds grandiose, he's actually being specific about what it means. In his public statements, Musk frames his projects as pushing humanity forward. He said, XAI's purpose is to figure out what the hell is really going on in the world. Grokpedia fits this narrative by attempting to build a more objective knowledge base free from what he sees as censorious gatekeeping. Like his effort to transform Twitter into X as an anything-goes platform, Musk is casting Grokpedia as a challenge to media orthodoxy, a counterbalance to what he views as incumbent knowledge monopolies. Tech analysts have noted that this move disrupts a major tech ecosystem, Wikipedia, similar to how Musk has disrupted others. And true to form, Grokpedia is designed as open source and free. Musk explicitly invites the public to participate in building it, which mirrors his For the People ethos in other ventures. He promises no paywalls or usage caps and claims the project will be available to the public with no limits on use. In effect, Grokpedia is being pitched not just as a commercial product, but as a public good, an AI-enhanced Wikipedia, where anyone can view or contribute knowledge without restriction. But here's what everyone's really wondering. Can Musk actually pull this off? And that's where his track record becomes absolutely critical to understanding what happens next. The pattern of impossible wins history suggests that Musk's bold claims often face early skepticism, but can yield surprising outcomes. There's a pattern here that's worth paying attention to because it keeps repeating itself across his ventures. Take SpaceX, which Musk founded back in 2002 to build affordable rockets. 
When he started, experts doubted that a startup could compete with aerospace giants. The skepticism was loud and constant. SpaceX's first liquid-fueled rocket, Falcon 1, failed on its first three launches. The media widely publicized this as proof the venture was doomed, that Musk was out of his depth. But on the fourth try in 2008, Falcon 1 reached orbit successfully. That single milestone unlocked NASA contracts and validated SpaceX's entire approach. In less than two decades, SpaceX became the only private company to ferry crew to the International Space Station and pioneered reusable rocket boosters, achievements many deemed impossible at the start. Musk even humorously named one early rocket dragon after critics said a magical bullshit myth would be needed to succeed. The joke was on the skeptics. Then there's Tesla. Early on, major auto companies and pundits dismissed Tesla's electric cars as niche or unprofitable. The conventional wisdom was that an all-electric car company couldn't be viable or industry-leading. Yet Musk persisted and transformed that pipe dream into reality. Tesla scaled from the luxury roadster to mass market models, built gigafactories globally, and achieved sustained profitability. By 2025, Tesla stands as a major auto manufacturer with millions of EVs on the road, a feat rival companies once thought unattainable. Now, Neuralink is particularly fascinating because it's still in progress. Musk's brain-computer interface startup has drawn frequent doubt over the years. Predicted human trials were repeatedly pushed back, and in 2023, U.S. regulators cited safety concerns with Neuralink's device. Many assumed the project would never reach humans safely. Still, Neuralink quietly made progress. In early 2024, its first human patient, a quadriplegic man named Noland Arbaugh, began using the implant. Then in March 2024, Musk celebrated that Arbaugh had just posted a tweet, just by thinking, using the Neuralink telepathy device. Let that sink in for a moment. A person with paralysis tweeted using only their thoughts. While Neuralink's full vision of curing blindness and enabling telepathy remains a work in progress, the milestone of thought-to-text typing is a concrete outcome that few outside the project believed possible just a few years prior. And then there's XAI and Grok itself. Musk's latest AI venture launched from skepticism, too. Having parted ways with OpenAI, he founded XAI in 2023 to rival OpenAI and Google, aiming to build safe general AI. Some analysts questioned whether Musk could swiftly build a credible AI from scratch, when other companies had years of head start. Nevertheless, XAI rolled out the Grok chatbot in late 2023, and has since pushed rapid iterations through Grok 1.5, two, three, and now four, with announced capabilities far above early models. Musk and XAI even secured a contract to provide Grok four models to U.S. government agencies. Most recently, Musk promised Grok and Tesla cars by July 2025, an aggressive timeline that only a company with deep engineering resources could attempt. In each case, you see the same formula, a grand vision, aggressive timelines, public doubt, followed by a breakthrough that forces people to reconsider what's possible. Musk often frames the odds as stacked against him, saying when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. The record shows that with enough engineering muscle and risk-taking, Musk has repeatedly delivered results that once sounded unbelievable, straight from the source. Musk himself has been incredibly vocal about Grokpedia and Grok, and his statements reveal a lot about where this is heading. In announcing Grokpedia on X, he wrote something telling. Quote, We are building Grokopedia. It will be a massive improvement over Wikipedia. Frankly, it is a necessary step towards the XAI goal of understanding the universe. He's also urged the community to contribute directly. These posts frame Grokpedia as a collective mission aligned with XAI's cosmic scientific goals, not just another product launch. On Grok itself, Musk has used characteristically bold language. During the July 2025 launch of Grok 4, he declared it smarter than almost all graduate students in all disciplines. In a post shortly after, he announced, Grok is coming to Tesla vehicles very soon, next week at the latest. 
Wired reported this as a candid update to Tesla owners. Though they noted Musk's tendency to make ambitious promises that sometimes shift timelines, Musk has also celebrated milestone outcomes in real time. After Neuralink's patient tweeted by thought, Musk enthused, first ever post made just by thinking, using the Neuralink telepathy device. These public statements reinforce his narrative that even if skeptics raise doubts, he'll keep pushing technology until a breakthrough occurs often exciting his followers with glimpses of impossible feats becoming reality. Together, these signals show Musk weaving Grokpedia and Grok into his broader tapestry of AI and tech ambitions. Grokpedia is not just a standalone wiki. It ties into his vision of AI-enabled knowledge for all, of challenging what he sees as tech monopolies and resisting censorship. It leverages Grok's capabilities to make information access more dynamic, and supposedly more truthful. The bottom line. So what does all this mean for you? Grokpedia follows the exact pattern of Musk's career. Starting with big promises, facing skepticism, and in many cases ultimately delivering surprising successes. Whether it's rockets that land themselves, electric cars that changed an industry, or brain chips that let paralyzed people communicate. Musk has a track record of making the impossible feel inevitable in hindsight. Will Grokpedia become the Wikipedia replacement Musk envisions? That remains to be seen. But based on everything we've looked at today, from the technology behind it to Musk's history of defying expectations, this is definitely something worth watching closely. If you found this breakdown helpful, drop a comment below and let me know what you think about Grokpedia. Would you trust an AI-curated encyclopedia over human editors? Or do you see potential problems I didn't cover? I'd love to hear your perspective. And if you want to stay updated on AI developments like this, make sure you're subscribed because this technology is moving faster than ever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.